Hello to all the knights and queens of the world. You already know who it is. It's Mr. Royal Diamond, aka Mr. Nearest, coming back at you with an amazing, incredible video. My topic today is going to be about never take no for a final answer. That basically means that you will not let nothing or anything stand in your way of claiming your achievement or your goals, your dreams, the things that you really want out of your life. Taking no for an answer is just like if you wanted to be like um like a real estate agent or if you wanted to build businesses or if you wanted to accomplish like a new goal or habit routine basically taking no for an answer it's like the no's come in many forms you know it could come in like in resistance it could, it could come in a form of challenge it could come from like you seeking um a position or a, a specific job title and when you go for interviews it's always like a no 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 oh excuse me Sometimes you might feel discouraged. Sometimes you might feel like giving up because you'd be like, what is the point if you keep trying? And, you know, there, there's no results, you know. But sometimes you have to keep trying and who you become in that process of you accomplishing that or continue to be persistent and persevering through that. That's when you will um, you will discover who you are and most importantly, you will discover what it takes to continue to claim your success or to become successful in your life, you know. I just feel like a lot of people are just conditioned to 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 take like no as like a final say for their life you know or certain things in their life they, they should take it as a finalization or a realization over their life when they shouldn't you know so saying um never taking no for an answer it's just like if you work in somewhere you want to be like a pro um, you want to be like a supervisor or if you want to move up on the chain ladder it's basically you know every time the, the year come around you keep asking your boss like oh i want to be a supervisor i want to be a manager you know but even if they tell you no you continue to work you know even if they tell you no you continue to improve even if, even if they tell you no you continue to fight and hustle and become you know because i see a lot of people they work hard in a lot of places but like when they want to achieve like move up the ladder or do something else and if the first no they receive they automatically give up like that's it like they automatically like you have to let your desire be greater than than failure or mistake you know what i'm saying that you continue to learn you continue to grow you continue to continue to fight until you until you claim your victory you know what i'm saying sometimes people who continue to work through the no's to get to the yes they get what they want you know what i'm saying so something you gotta be persistent and continue to try 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 again until it comes to pass because um people like people who want to work with someone like people like business partners or people at jobs or supervisor managers or corporate directors they they admire that in a person that dedication that hunger that persistency that person who continue to try even when even when even even if they receive a no or it's like they can't get it you know what i'm saying at that moment you know they're like the you trying continue to try and continue to prove people are watching people are looking at you people are seeing your hustle and bustle in your improvement you know never ever believe that all your work is in vain. You know what I'm saying? God sees too and God makes miracles happen. God will shift the right people, place you in higher and better position that you didn't even think you qualify for or you didn't even pray for. You know, so that's why it's very important to never give up on your goals and dreams. Because it's a reason why God keeps telling you to pursue that. It's a reason why he's calling that greatness out of you. Because if God can believe in you, and that's very mind-blowing because he created us, you know. That's something he taught me as well. Then what is that basically telling you? That's basically telling you, keep trying, keep keep fighting, keep going. Because you will claim your victory. You will have your desires. You will have that miracle, that blessing, that breakthrough. You just got to have faith. You got to find creative ways to continue to hustle and bustle. You know what I'm saying? You just have to keep persisting until you claim your victory. That's basically what that's basically what the nose is. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes God places the nose in your life just to push you. You know, to, to, to kind of make you work harder, stretch you, make you grow more, help you understand a different mindset, a different perspective. You get what I'm saying? Because regardless of anything, you're you're already successful. If you're waking up every day, t taking care of your business, doing what you got to do, you know, taking care of fa uh, family, friends, loved ones, all that, you're being successful in many ways, but just a lot of people don't categorize that as success or, to, or actually go out the way to tell you like, oh, you know, I'm very proud of you and you're achieving so much, you know, it's all about perspective, you know what I'm saying, but if you know you're worth and you know what you're doing, then that's all the validation confirmation you need, you know what I'm saying, it may feel nice if somebody tells you that, but you gotta know your owners, your own worth and what you bring to the table, what you're delivering, you know what I'm saying, that's why it's very important to never take no as a final answer, because who are they to say that you cannot have that, they are not God, you know what I'm saying, it, it comes from God Almighty, you know, the higher source, you know what I'm saying, it's God who says what you can have, 
what you can't have. You know what I'm saying? Because God is always about your best benefit and your, your greatest growth. So you know what I'm saying? So that's something I realized too. You know, even when I went about trying to do my different things and you know, and even when they tell me no, I still kept pursuing, I still kept searching, I still kept growing and learning. It never stopped me from being my incredible self. It never stopped me from me being me and my truth and my worth. You know what I'm saying? It didn't deter me. You know what I'm saying? It just only made me that much hungrier to obtain it. It made me that much willing to learn and grow and figure out how to make things work. You know what I'm saying? And you being you and you doing all these things, people are watching you. And people will go out the way like, listen, like I see you busting your butt and da-da-da. So you will get that promotion. You will get the next promotion. And, you know, things will just start piling on top of you. You get different offers for different um different opportunities and forms of offers or promotions or breakthroughs from other companies from other places people should see you being kind being nice seeing how you handle yourself how you carry yourself that's why it's very important to never give up you know just because one door closed doesn't mean that god will not open 10 more you know what i'm saying even if you're working at something and it may seem successful but then all of a sudden it falls apart that could be god closing that door because it's not meant for you you know what i'm saying you're meant to have something better greater more more you know what i'm saying because if god removes something he's gonna replace it with something better greater more abundance that's basically what that is and when you have that that mindset and that hunger that nobody's gonna stand in your way of you accomplishing your goals and dreams then you know things begin to happen you know what i'm saying people god will bless you with people circumstances situations events people will go out the way to be kind to you to help you to uplift you because they remember how you made them feel they remember how hard you work. They remember your, your hustle and bustle. You know what I'm saying? Like credential may get you the job, but your character ultimately will help you keep the job. Regardless of what that is. If it's for working for somebody else, for yourself, business partners, contracts, endorsement deals, whatever it is. It's your character that will define that. And when you have that attitude that this would not keep me or stop me, trust me, you will even impress the, the, the movers and shakers of the world. You know what I'm saying? Because they admire that because you resemble a point in time in their journey. You know what I'm saying? And that's like strong indication of a very powerful characteristic that you possess and that's what people want to work with you get what i'm saying that's why it's very important to never take no for a final answer in your life you know what i'm saying because even if somebody was like no you cannot have that no you're not gonna be promoted da, da, da. but you tell yourself that you know what god is faithful and god is on my side and you watch the way god will work in my life you know what i'm saying you speak blessings over your life because it's not what other people say it's what god say but like i say in all my videos i love you i thank you god bless you Comment, like, and subscribe, and most importantly, take the world by storm. Let's get, let's, you know, let's work together, grow together, and it's only time for greatness. It's time just to, it's just time to live your life and just, you know, begin to live it. You know what I'm saying? Like, be present in your life and watch how everything unfolds beautifully for you. But thank you. God bless you. Until my next one. Peace.